should really define what they want from an organic product or why they're spending usually more money for organic foods as opposed to non-organically produced foods. So they should really understand what they're getting. If they think they're getting a product that's more healthy, they may not be. There's not a lot of good evidence that organic foods are healthier than other foods. If they think they're getting a product that's safer because pesticides are on it, well, there's not a lot of good evidence that those pesticides are dangerous, at least to the people who are consuming those products. If they think they're getting a product that is better for them, well, organic junk food is still junk food and organic fat is still fat. I really wouldn't go and buy an organic product because I think that food is more nourishing than a non-organic product. If I had in front of me an organic apple and a non-organic apple, I would be interested in purchasing that organic apple if it was grown in a farm very close to where, I, where I'm purchasing it, so there were small transportation costs. If the farmer who grew it was using sustainable agriculture, if the farmer was ecologically minded, I would much prefer buying that organic product, not because I thought it would make me healthier, because I'm going to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables as it is, but because I think it makes my world a little healthier place. That the pesticides that are used to grow the non-organic products have not ever been clearly shown to be dangerous to human health. The people who are picking these products and in those fields eight hours plus a day, working with all the pesticide there, there there's evidence that this is dangerous to human health. But if you're in the grocery store and you're picking out a product and one product says organic and the other says non-organic, and they both look the same and they both look delicious, but one price, the price for organic is going to be a lot more often, you might want to pick the other one if your only concern is the pesticides. And after all, you can wash the pesticides anyway. Fruit or a vegetable is going to produce a chemical that is going to be deleterious to a predator of that fruit or vegetable. And we consume all of these chemicals, that is pesticides, that are, quote, natural because they're produced by the fruits and vegetables. We consume them all the time. That's what we're consuming. And when we think of all the pesticide that I consume in a day or that I consume in a year, 99 point something percent of that are all naturally occurring chemicals. Well, with any, with any chemicals um, that are put on products that kids consume because of their smaller body weight, they are at greater risk than a larger adult. In terms of studies with children that are eating fruits and vegetables that have been non-organically produced, there's no evidence that has been harmful. But if it's going to be harmful in anybody, or if it's going to be a problem in anybody, it's more likely in a child than it is in an adult. If the question was, what, could I, what foods could I eat that would make me healthy or that would help me prevent me from getting cancer? The answer would be, eat a diet that's really rich in fruits and vegetables. You've got organic fruits and vegetables and you've got non-organic fruits and vegetables. Typically, although not always, the organic fruits and vegetables you're going to pay a premium for. It's far more important for people to buy fruits and vegetables that are known to help prevent cancer than to think, I'm going to spend more of the limited funds I have to buy organic products and then be able to eat less of that. So from a public health perspective, I'm far more interested in people eating lots of fruits and vegetables and to not pay the premium price for organics in that setting. In my mind, the best reason for buying organic is that if it's the organic philosophy that you're really buying, it's a better practice for sustainability and a healthier world for yourself, for your children and grandchildren.